everybody. Well, welcome back to another episode of uh, Call Me Mr. Broadstreet. So, I wanted to go over something that happened last weekend, which was actually a lot of fun. I uh, got to see Denny Lane live in concert. What I'm going to do first is show you some live footage. This was some footage I took uh, a couple hours before the concert, I think early that morning uh, last Friday when I saw him. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll come back, I'll give some uh, post-concert impressions, and uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, well, as Paul McCartney once said, take it away. Today is basically behind these doors tonight. Uh, Friday night on February 10th, Denny Lane is performing. That's a surprise. You'll have seen it. Uh, of course, you know, you'll have seen it in the uh, description for the video. But I uh, just wanted to show you, this is the music room down on Cape Cod. I actually literally just drove past it, and you'll have to excuse the traffic. Uh, you know, it's just kind of going by. It's right near kind of a busy street, busy highway down on the Cape. But let's go ahead and go around, and uh, we'll see the front of it as well. So just going to do a little uh, camera work here and take everybody around. This is actually sort of the side entrance, but there's a lot of traffic over here. We'll go ahead and show the uh, front of it, but I'm really excited. Uh, before I do that, I'm really excited. Uh, you know what? Uh, my family got tickets for this, which is really nice. Uh, it's so far a wonderful, sunny, wonderful, wonderful sunny morning, uh, you know, outside. I, I just, I can't wait. Uh, I've seen some of the set lists on some of the Facebook groups. Uh, I'm hoping he performs again and again and again off of Back to the Egg. That would be my personal favorite to hear. Uh, also hoping to get his autograph. I don't know if that's actually going to happen tonight, but I'm going to do everything I can. And again, excuse the traffic, but um, here we go. Let's go ahead and see the front of the music, uh, music room. One second, we're going around. Let's take you on that little journey, shall we? There we go, all right. Ah, I saw a park across the way, but I don't think we're gonna be doing that. So it's going to be right here behind these doors. Go ahead and do a little right there. And uh, it'll be right behind these doors. Uh, concert time is about, there we go. Set that up a little better. There we go. Kind of live, what can I say? But yeah, right behind these doors. Uh, it's going to be eight o'clock tonight on Friday. I can't wait. And then uh, later on after the show, I'm going to give some reflections, everything like that. Uh, probably from a guest studio since I'm staying with family. And I uh, can't wait for uh, my thoughts on it to share that with everybody. I really hope to get his autograph. Maybe if I could pass him my card, that would be great. I don't know how likely that is to happen, but I just can't wait. I'm excited for this. You know what? This is so great. I, at the very least, I want to be able to add his autograph to the collection and say that I've seen Denny Lane. I mean, who doesn't love him, you know? He's part of Wings, he's part of the story. Uh, really just a lot of fun. So, well, what I'll do is end it here. I'll catch everybody later with uh, reflections, post-concert reflections and everything like that. Uh, so until later. And I'm back, everybody. Well, uh, you know, as uh, you can see, you saw my intro uh, at the Music Room down in Cape Cod. I highly recommend that venue. Really nice, intimate venue and setting. I would love to go back and see somebody almost totally random, you know, a local blues band. Something like that would be uh, a lot of fun. So, my impressions of the, uh, of the concert. Well, a lot of good songs, you know, it was really nice to see Denny in fine form, uh, you know, he was up on the stage, 
uh, among the songs played that I can remember, Mull of Kintyre, uh, of course, was in the set. Uh, we got to hear uh, Time to Hide, of course, from Wings on the Speed of Sound. He did an old sea shanty, which was a lot of fun, but when he did the chorus, you could tell he was kind of playing with the audience. It's like, oh, okay, come on, I expect you to sing along on this next chorus. I mean, this is a song from probably 150 years ago, I would guess, something along those lines, uh, that nobody was familiar with. But again, just a great song, great energy that Denny had up on stage, total command of the room. Uh, between the songs and stories, it was like sitting with an old friend. Um, of course, we got the uh, early Moody Blues hit, Go Now, which was his famous song before departing the Moody Blues. Um, gosh, I'm just trying to... I'm really trying to think of what else. It was just such a, a wonderfully magical night. Uh, you know, perfect venue. I uh, gotta give a shout out to my stepmom for getting the tickets, uh, for my dad, who was the designated driver that night, since I had a few, which was uh, which was quite fun, which added to the enjoyment. Didn't get too sloppy myself, but, you know, knew I was in no condition to drive and just to have fun and seeing uh, Denny up on stage. Uh, goodness, what, what else? I mean, just the overall vibe, as I said, the overall atmosphere. The fact that, uh, you know, at age 78, you know, Denny was a good voice. You know, he was a really good voice up on the stage. He, you know, like I said, commanded the audience. You know, just it, it really felt fantastic. If you get a chance to see Denny, please do. Absolutely, please. I highly recommend it. Um, you know, it was definitely essential in my book. I mean, as if I'm going to say anything else, really. Just a fine concert, a fine time uh, in and of itself. Now, as the concert, uh, you know, was uh, ending, you know, I saw him on the stage and he, you know, went out and the night was over. So, did I get the autograph? Um, well, here to tell you that the story didn't end there. <laughs> um, I, you know, what happened was he went backstage so I asked one of the staff there, and I think he was the kind of one of the hosts there. He was actually uh, he was actually the opening act. He did uh, St. James Infirmary, kind of a blues song. Uh, so he was the host, not the owner of the place. But I have to thank you so much. Um, he said, "Okay, you know I, I can't say too much with the you know with the manager here, but you know line up by the door, wait it out, see if he comes out." I said, "Okay," and and I wasn't. It wasn't a requirement. Let's put it that way. In other words, the show would have been fantastic either or. But I was first in line, waiting patiently. A couple other people lined up, you know, right behind me, or right beside me. We're uh, we're in this little hallway. It was funny because a couple people were asking, "Is this the autograph line or the bathroom line?" We we're pointing, "No, nope, bathroom over there." You know, right past us, and we're waiting. I'm right in front of the stage door. Uh, one of the handlers for Denny comes out. She was very nice. I didn't catch her name, but if she ever happens to be watching this video, thank you so much. And then the magic happened. Denny just comes out, and I'm like, oh, oh my god, I'm fumbling with my... I had a Sharpie pen, and I'm kind of fumbling with it. He was prepared. He had his Sharpie pen in hand. Um, you know, and I was just said, Mr. Lane, thank you so much. It was a wonderful show. Uh, you know, really a fantastic time. So, oh, thank you. He is so down to earth, folks. He is absolutely down to earth. Considering the company he's been with, I mean, he's been around the Rolling Stones. He's been around the Beatles and came up at the same time as the Beatles, even before joining Wings, having known Paul and Linda McCartney, you know, Jimmy McCullough, Joe English with Wings, um, you know, Lawrence Juber and Steve Hawley with the later incarnations, uh, Denny Sywell, you know, with the, the earlier incarnation of Wings. I feel like I'm leaving somebody out right now, um, you know, but he was there from, you know, 71 to 79 with Wings. He's known a lot of people. Post Wings, he got to play with George Harrison on stage around 1986, I believe, for a charity. Anyways, as I'm rambling on and on, you know, it was just, how can you convey that? And there's really no way to convey that, but I think he just felt, you know, the love from the fans and everything. So, ironically, this was the album I got autographed, because I went to uh, Spinnaker Records before that, uh, earlier that day, after I filmed that, that intro. I was like, well, let me go to Spinnaker Records and let me pick this up. I was hoping for Back to the Egg. They didn't have it in stock. Uh, I thought something kind of on the smaller scale... Although, another person did get, I think, uh, Denny Lane's album, one of his albums, I'm trying to remember which one right now, um, autographs. So I probably could have brought something like that in. But, Wildlife, and of course, I'm going to show you right here. We're going to focus on that right there. 
Look at that right there. Just Now this right here is part of the drawing. Denny did not draw that, but I'm just going to give people a second to really soak it in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I still can't believe I have it. This is going in the archives, of course, with the, you know, Paul's autograph, Ringo's autograph. I didn't get those in person with Pete Best's autograph, which I did get in person. It's just a wonderful thing to have, you know, and his energy, like I said, just an amazing energy. Um, if you're able to ever meet him, he's so gracious, so kind. Um, and even if not, you know, even if you just stay for the show or for whatever reason he doesn't do autographs that night, I can't imagine why, but, you know, I certainly understand. Um, a wonderful two-hour show. Catch him if you can. Truly a gentleman, a scholar, one of the legends of rock and roll, rock and roll hall of famer. Uh, so that's it. And I uh, hope to see everybody in the uh, next video. So uh, Denny Lane is in my ears and in my eyes. And in my autograph collection now. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye.